The ultimate test of human athletic endurance is the marathon, a 26-mile cross-country dash reflecting the achievement of a Greek messenger in the year 490 BC. Today, the unrivaled champions of this endeavor are not the professional stars, but an order of Tendai Buddhist monks whose monastery is in central Japan. They are the marathon monks of Mount Hiei. It is two o'clock in the morning. Moving at a steady, determined pace, Tanno Kakudo starts his 22-mile marathon on Mount Hiei. He has contracted on pain of death to complete the spiritual and physical test of 1,000 such marathons within the next seven years. In his quest, he will cover over 27,000 miles on this mountain, a distance greater than the circumference of the Earth. Tano is only the sixth person to attempt the marathon meditation since the Second World War. But the prize he seeks is not a pot of gold or a few fleeting moments of glory. Rather, he seeks enlightenment, enlightenment in the here and now. And if successful, he will become a living Buddha, a modern-day saint. The marathon is a pilgrimage to the 270 sacred sites on Mount Hiei. Here the monk isolates himself, aiming to live every day as if it were his last. The marathon monks are followers of Fudo Myo'o, the unshakable king of light. Fudo who has a fearful face encompassed by a fiery nimbus, burns up evil passions while illuminating the darkest corners of existence. Fudo is the active element of salvation, capable of channeling his awesome power to others. These running Buddhas strive to become one with Fudo, to actually perceive his dynamic image as a living force, and in this way, to tap his awesome energy. Buddhists believe that the root of all evil and suffering is the self, or ego. Only by meditation can we realize the illusory nature of our self and reach beyond it to discover our divine being, the Buddha within. Meditation can take many forms. Raking gravel patterns with great care and discipline is an act of meditation and a step on the path to enlightenment. Meditations can involve varying degrees of austerity and self-control. Most Buddhists believe that enlightenment is only reached after many reincarnations. But Tendai Buddhists believe that it is attainable in a single lifetime through extreme austerities such as the marathon meditations. As Tano Kakudo sees it, the physical ordeal is a means to a spiritual end. The marathon walk is called the Hokozen. The walking is a form of meditation. We don't walk fast. The purpose is not exhaust yourself. If you look at my hat, called the Renge Gasa, it should not move like this when I walk. It should move smoothly even if the path is rough. This means I have to keep my back and my hips upright, or the movement should come from the lower half of the body. 